Benjamin Pearson, and this video was recorded in April 2020. During this global crisis, many of us are under a lot of stress. COVID-19 has everyone staying in the house, hashtag stay at home, and that means a lot of us need different ways to cope. Binging YouTube and Netflix is fun and all, but have you ever considered meditation? Individuals who meditate seek to create balance within their physical, mental, and emotional state, which is achieved by stretching, using breathing techniques, having a positive organization of thoughts, and reciting mantras. In doing so, these individuals de-stress and gain a clear, focused mind that is increasingly able to concentrate on well-being and awareness. These benefits can be extremely heightened when visiting a local Reiki practitioner with the addition of involving crystals in one's wellness routine. Throughout this speech, I will further discuss how Reiki energy healing is a type of holistic therapy that can be promoted by using different kinds of crystals on all of our seven chakras. So how popular is Reiki anyways? The International Center for Reiki Training proposes 4 million people have completed at least one level of Reiki training. That's a lot of people who are informed about Reiki as a holistic practice. In 1914, Mataji Kawakami created the study of Reiki and then went on to publish a book called Reiki Healing and Its Effects in the year 1919. Reiki energy healing can be described as a relaxing therapeutic treatment that transmits natural healing vibrations through the simple touches of the hand to invoke peace throughout the body. According to Reiki.org, Rei can be defined as the higher intelligence that guides the creation and functioning of the universe, while Ki is the non-physical energy that animates all living things. Our physical organs and tissues are powered by our Ki. Our thoughts and feelings can also cause reactions in our Ki. In fact, our own negative thoughts and feelings are actually what disrupt the circulation of Ki and weaken the body with illness due to the presence of negative emotions, whether conscious or unconscious. Reiki helps restore the flow of Ki through the guidance of Ki's higher intelligence of finding the damaged sites within our bodies and breaking up those negative energies to allow the flow of Ki to replenish our health. This is of course achieved with the assistance of a professional Reiki practitioner. Furthermore, our chakras are located around different parts of the body and each serve a different purpose. The root chakra located at the base of our spines, represents the foundation and controls our confidences about survival needs. Survival needs can include basic necessities such as food and water or other things such as financial stability. The sacral chakra, located in the lower abdomen region, represents a place of self and controls well-being, emotion, and pleasure. While the solar plexus chakra is located in the upper abdomen stomach area and represents self-worth, which controls confidence about self-esteem and identity. There are also the heart and throat chakras, which I'm not going to discuss today. And the third eye chakra, which represents the eye of the soul and controls intuition and wisdom. The eye, third eye chakra is located in the middle of the forehead and is sometimes referred to as the brow chakra. There's also the crown chakra, which represents a pure and higher consciousness and controls spiritual connection. It is located on top of the head like a crown. Dating back to ancient history, many ancient civilizations such as Egyptians, Chinese, Greeks, and Romans utilized crystals to bring enlightenment, attract prosperity, cast protection, and enhance health. Today, we mostly commonly use crystals for Reiki crystal healing. Reiki crystal healing is basically Reiki energy healing with the addition of crystals. When our body's natural energies interact with the energies of the crystals, the crystal promotes a unique energy movement in our bodies which enable our chakras to open. For an example, the properties of the rose quartz releases toxic emotions of the spirit in order for all kinds of love to enter the body. Love such as friendship love, romantic love, or familial love. I actually have my very own rose quartz crystal that was given to me by a Reiki student who actually performed a Reiki treatment session on me for practice. It's very beautiful and pink in color. I use it in my meditation routines while I recite mantras to keep my heart from creating blockages in my chakra, my heart chakra.
There's also crystals like the tiger's eye, which gives power and focus to the solar plexus and sacral chakra. In addition, there's crystals like the amethyst, which soothe and relax the body, or the amazonite, which is similar to the rose quartz and brings loving energy to clear out toxic negative energy. There's plenty of other crystals to research about, and I would definitely recommend you check them out if Reiki sounds interesting to you. In a world where we rely so much on man-made medicine like pills and vaccines, it's hard to believe a special colored stone or the touch of a hand can cure pain. However, studies have shown that Reiki energy healing can actually cure pain and remedy mental health. We've already previously explored how Reiki can help us raise our energy levels, cope with stress, and promote positivity. These ideas can be supported by case studies that were conducted from 2006 to 2008 on stressed out lab rats who received Reiki treatment and then proceeded to show signs of decreased stress and depression responses. Reiki is also said to prevent illness. However, it is not as widely as accepted as Western medicine. Nevertheless, at least 15% of US hospitals, including California Pacific Medical Center, offer Reiki services to patients. Reiki case studies conducted from 1993 to 2006 suggest subjects who were a part of the treatment group experienced a reduction in pain levels, according to a research article on uclahealth.org. To sum it up, Reiki energy healing helps remove energy blockages and strengthen the flow of ki by utilizing energies from the hand of a Reiki practitioner or healing crystals in order to break down and release negative energy. Earlier, we also discussed the location and purposes of chakras and how certain crystals can aid in keeping certain chakras open. Lastly, I examined how the possible benefits of Reiki include unspecified pain reduction and an increased um, sense of emotional and mental well-being. Reiki is a powerful, 100% safe method of therapy that can be used on people of all ages, animals, and even plants. Therefore, whether or not you think Reiki is legit or a bunch of baloney, there is proof in the hundreds of thousands of testimonies that describe how Reiki has worked for them. And as the saying goes, an apple a day can keep the doctor, doctor away, but it only takes one crystal to keep all those negative feelings away. Hashtag key for life. Thank you guys so much for listening.